Hey everybody, this is Larry Kitchen, and this piece is portrait painting, and I hope you'll enjoy it. It's sped up quite a bit, about four times the speed, so you'll notice my hand is moving fast. And as usual, I've laid in a gray background. Uh, that's what I call the mid-tone uh, value, and there's a lot of that in any particular painting, whether you're painting black and white or color. Uh, it's good to consider what your mid-tone value is. Since this is a black and white piece of Marty Feldman, the famous uh, Igor on Young Frankenstein, then I laid in the gray mid-tone on this piece of illustration board previously. It took about 10 minutes to dry and then transferred a line drawing and uh, using chalk and my grid drawing method. So after I transferred that and I put the line drawing paper away and started uh, with black acrylic paint. I've got uh, black and white only on my palette that you see there on the right and I'm starting this with the shadows. Now in my teaching career I've talked quite a bit about thinking of your paintings in three values. Remember values are the tone of the tone from light to dark and so when I say a value a high value would be close to white a low value would be close to black or the absence of color so if you narrow this down and and think in terms of uh, three values that you you know work in it'll help you see what what you need to do and your intuition can guide the way so while I've been talking, I laid in all the shadow tones and uh, started with that. It's a good, a good way to start. And then the second area, you'll see that uh, darker gray. So if the background's mid-tone, that darker gray <clears throat> you can refer to as, as a half-tone. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's about halfway between your mid-tone uh, and your shadow. So I laid a little bit of that in. And then now, finally, I'm working on the highlights. Now, the highlights are really the fun part of the painting process. And you'll notice that most of the work is in manipulating uh, the highlights of this work. They seem to bring uh, shape and form um, to a, a flat two-dimensional or 2D surface. So we want the illusion of three-dimensional, 3D. And so your highlight especially will, will bring that out. Now I didn't work very long on the shadows and, and the half tones before I jumped into highlight. That could be one problem actually. But when, when, you, uh, when you're painting, you want to try to resist the urge to lay in highlights too quickly because they should sit on top. Now you noticed here that I'm, I'm laying in uh, the white background and I'm I'm leaving some strokes in there. I like uh, to show that the painter was there. If you paint things so completely realistic, in some ways you lose value. Uh, I found that art directors want to see that it's a painting, not a photograph. It is possible to paint it so tight and rendered out that, it, that people will mistake it for a photograph, and you don't really want that. If we wanted a photograph, we'd shoot a picture of it and then uh, have it done at that point. But uh, painters today are hired uh, because the artist and the craftsmanship, the magic is still showing. So be sure, don't, don't uh, render out every little thing on your work. Uh, allow those strokes to show and allow some of the artist's hand to pop through your, uh, your painting communication. Well, we're getting uh, on toward the end, and you'll notice uh, the last few steps here. I'm doing a blending between the shadow and the mid-tone. So you, call, you could call that half-tone, but those transitional edges are very important to turn the shape uh, in space. So if you've got a black up against a mid-tone value, you can dry your brush out with just a little bit of that gray value and water and blend that edge slightly. Well, that's about it, and here's Marty Feldman from Young Frankenstein. I hope you've enjoyed it. I certainly have, and good luck on your portrait painting in the future.